Welcome back to Arcade Garage again. Carrying on with EcoJet stuff again today. So uh, we're going to be pushing that back later. This is exactly where I left off last video. I just picked up the manifold gaskets yesterday, I think it was, but went out to the pub and whatnot. And had the evening off and I'm meant to be flying out to work tomorrow now. So I'll push that back. I'll get onto that the next time. But uh, something's been finished for EcoJet. So there's a little preview there. But anyway, we'll get back to that in a second as we're going to dive into that, disassemble what we can and paint it, so it's all nice. But um, now we'll just set up a little montage of me pushing this bad boy back. We'll get back into it. Got the fan going over there, got the surround sound going. So just going to, just going to enjoy myself out here, a couple of drinks, make a video for you guys, for the odd viewers that want to watch this shit. But anyway, let's uh, crack into that montage, eh? Actually, let's change that up. So, lately, in all the uh, time I've been, so been putting some some of the music in from the band that I'm in, I've actually uh, recorded go on the GoPro footage of us last jam session. So, I'm gonna cut to that, a little bit of us playing, and then it's gonna just you know just melt into the audio of the proper thing as and blend into me pushing that back. So, just a little bit of montage, and in case anyone is a music fan as well as cars, you'll just see a bit of music we only had three members there including myself two of them couldn't make it but band session but you know we still want to practice and play music so just three of us there but anyway enjoy get back to you guys once that thing's all away and we're cracking on with this music fan or you don't like heavy music I apologize for that but I thought I'd throw it in there for something different and cool. If you want to see more of that I can keep doing future songs that I do. Anyway hopefully you can hear me over fan and the background music but here it is so obviously it's unpainted and raw. Uh, these are obviously on the opposite sides. Got a custom little elbow here because I was running the old side down by the power steering pump location so instead of it coming out this way you know, it goes straight to where the radiator is. I've got a Bosch 82mm drive-by wire throttle body. It's been grafted on there. Obviously those rails need to be cleaned up, which I'll do in paint. But we're going to be taking this housing off, the rails off, the, um, the throttle body off, taking up all the injector holes or whatever I need to do. And we're going to be painting it in wrinkle black. I've also got my rocker covers, which I'm going to do as well. So, you know, we'll... I'll paint them on camera. This video is just going to be about this intake. So, you know, you can scroll ahead if you want to see the end result or if you want to watch the process and support the channel. I'd appreciate it. If you watch the whole thing, I'll try not to make it too boring. But anyway, let's get into it. Alright, first thing is first. We 
Okay. cheap it's like a pack of five from super cheap auto i think it was like 10 bucks or 15 dollars wire wheel goes into your goes a normal drill or has a connection for the um impact just gets the gill off Ugh. now i might um i might go over the lid with a scotch bright pad just to scuff it up a bit so the paint holds anyway we'll quickly just uh finish this off and then we'll get on to it take this bit off and we're ready to paint pretty much.
Harry can take like two hours to wrinkle to show, so there's no point doing that. I'll let that dry, put another coat or two on, and we'll get back once that's all done. I'm gonna clean up the um, fuel rails now, get them all sorted, painted, rocker covers to do. Yeah, get back to you guys after all that. All right, so I'm gonna end this one here. I would have liked to have gotten this fully reassembled for the video, but um, while I was in between coats, I got an email with my flights for tomorrow. I fly at 6.30 a.m., so I gotta be at the airport for 5.30 or 5-ish. Uh, I have to pack all my tools, you know, luggage and everything. Um, but I'll give a quick update. So this is starting to wrinkle up. Now I might give it another coat and just let it sit while I'm away. The rocker covers though, hopefully you can see on the camera, they turned out absolutely bloody mint. They worked like a charm, which is weird because they've got the same amount of coats as this. I think there's bits where it is coming through, but not to the extent that I want. But anyway, that doesn't matter. So that's what that's at. So uh, this video will come out, I think the weekend coming up and then I have another video after that which it was meant to be before the last couple that you guys have seen explain there's not going to be a video for a while by day to ask so probably like a week where you guys will miss out without a video but that's all right shit happens um so you got that wrinkle black wrinkle black then up here the fuel rails have been done in the engine enamel black which comes out gloss you know handy having a hoist you can use to hold and paint and the thermostat housing which I got made also in the engine enamel which is like gloss just so it's got a bit of contrast you know between like the matte wrinkle and a bit of gloss because the fuel fittings will all be black gloss I mean you've got like the the braided line which is kind of like a matte wrinklish type looking too so it's just a contrast between there unless if I go black fittings and silver or whatever color it is braided line which I might do because that would look really good with the engine bay of all that but uh yeah so that's where i'm leaving all this i've got to finish packing up got my tool bag there ready for work i gotta to go to my suitcase and my carry-on and whatnot change shirt ignore this but um yeah when i was you saw me sanding all that with a wire wheel everything just went on my shirt it was starting to get itchy so chuck that in the wash but we'll have a part two of the intake manifold Another time when we put everything back on, it's all finished, injectors will go in, we'll start wiring everything up, bloody da 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 um, I think that's where we're going to end it, so like, subscribe, leave a comment, and if you want to see more of the band stuff, like I said, let me know if you guys absolutely hated it, and don't want anything to do with it, if you turned off then also let me know, and I won't do any of that again, I just thought I'd throw it in. Anyway, if you made it this far, I appreciate it, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one.